I still do feel very strongly about <laughs> this issue of Star Wars Episode One versus Micro D Episode Zero. I'm, I feel very passionately that we should call this Episode One. That's fine. And Look, just I'm not make fun of Star Wars. I'm not. I'm not uh, going to die on the hill of trying to push Episode Zero through. Uh, it's fine. I, I've only seen it a couple of times. I think we're we're quite fine to start with one, and if we uh, blow chunks in in episode one, then you know, then we we pull out the Star Wars reference. It's fine. And that is absolutely how we should start our very first <laughs> podcast. Get ready to blow chunks. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Why don't we talk about ourselves for a second? We'll let people know sure. who they're hearing from, because this is spanking brand new. This is very new. This so is very new. why don't you tell, tell the nice folks on okay. the podcast? Um, well, I'm Chris Lamb. Uh, I've been a fan of podcasts for years now. It's so That sounds so that's not, radio. It does. <laughs> this is not... No, that's, that's not what I do here. I mean, I do do podcasts here, but... No, um, my, I'm Chris Lamb. Uh, what I do at MicroD is I'm on the internal marketing team with uh, lovely Emily here, and we handle basically everything to do with um, the internal marketing. I'm specifically the um, uh, digital campaign manager, so I'm all over our uh, advertising efforts on Facebook, and Google Ads and LinkedIn and constantly researching and coming up with new ideas on how to better reach, um, frankly, you guys, the listeners, um, and attract you to our great new podcast. <laughs> uh, some other things I do are, are um, I'm also, I work on uh, design and a little bit of development, so I can work on our website and we have multiple teams here, so I will help them at times with their um, uh, design and development if they have questions about that. I'm, uh, I guess you can call me more of a uh, senior. I've been around a bit, um, so I have a little bit of experience in, in a lot of different areas. So I've, I've talked enough, so Emily. <laughs> well, we should <laughs> also mention, by the way, the brand new MicroD website is the brainchild of one Chris Lamb, which and we're no. very excited about. If that you is. haven't gone to the new MicroD website, it looks a lot different. It was a huge effort on a lot of people's parts here uh, at MicroD. So Especially you. Check it out. <laughs> There's a ton of content. You will not get bored. There's also some fun stuff there, too. Oh, absolutely. I do think, uh, I don't want to go too far off into this, but I want you to intro yourself. But I do think, uh, just as a quick website plug, one of the, um, one of the things that I, I want to really get across is it's a living, breathing entity that we constantly want to update this and have new reasons to come back, new content to share, uh, just endless ways to, to read and learn and find out how to do better in this industry. Uh, so Emily. And that fun sound that you may or may not have heard, <laughs> depending on how good our next uh, person so. here it is, is uh, <laughs> our fantastic sound engineer, Richie Geyser, who's going to be our uh, off-camera personality. The person who's really going to make this pop. Some of you may or may not know, Richie is crazy famous. Not That's only, right. <laughs> not only can you see some of his great photography all around Getty Images, but is that right, Richie? If that. you haven't heard or seen anything on the MicroD social media before, was selected in a contest and actually got to put his musical talents 
on stage with 30 Seconds to Mars with the one and only Jared Leto, <laughs> who we all know and love, and we have Resident Rockstar here. So thanks, Richie. Resident Rockstar. Resident Rockstar. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> And I, the blabbermouth here, and Emily, I have been at MicroD for a few years now, and I'm on the internal marketing team. You may or may not have seen some of my work on our social media or on the website. Um, I have met a lot of you at markets. This is one of my favorite things to do here is helping to get us set for market get us there and talk to all of you guys while we are there. Um, content is my first and will be my last love in this world. So that's one of the reasons why I'm super passionate about this podcast, which we can talk about sort of why we're, why we're doing a podcast is really we have been putting so much content out into this world for a few years now. And We've seen a lot more retailers and manufacturers in the home furnishings industry where MicroD primarily works want to find more content and asking more questions. And so we have made it our job to educate and inform through blogs and videos and emails and now podcasts. So Yeah, just to, to touch on that, um, Emily's 100% right. I think... Why, thank you. One of the... <laughs> One of the uh, biggest, uh, well, not biggest, that's, that's the wrong way to go. But I think one of, one of Emily and my uh, strengths is I think we both like to constantly learn and constantly teach and constantly uh, maybe talk. Is that fair? That is accurate. Um, we, so <laughs> one of, so our, our literal goal for 2019 is to catch this stuff and, and put it out there because... Um, you know, we don't want to work in a, in a vacuum here. Uh, like what we learn, we can pass along and, and discuss. And I'm extremely, um, curious and, uh, excited about, you know, the kind of feedback we get on the podcast and, and how we can better, uh, you know, get this content out there and right. what, and what, and what you guys, you know, the, the listeners want to hear about yeah. and, and learn about, um. And, yeah, and that's the big thing, right, is we want to engage with all of you. The biggest thing that we can get out of this podcast is not only hearing ourselves talk, which is, you know, one of my top five favorite things on <laughs> every profile that I create for myself, but also <laughs> to, to meet with more um, brands that are in the home furnishings industry and talk with a lot of the retailers and talk about things that you're passionate about. You know, we go to Vegas Market and Atlanta Market and High Point Market, and we're doing seminars and webinars at all these places, and we meet all these fantastic people. And we want to give you a different way to intercept that information. If you can't go to market or maybe you don't have time to listen to a webinar or join a seminar, maybe you don't have time to read a 2,000-word blog. Podcasts have become a, a very big trend right now and we like good marketers want to jump on that trend but people have a very limited amount of time to get things done especially our retailers in the furniture industry they are business owners they are marketers they are human resources sometimes delivery drivers customer service so we know you don't have a lot of time so we wanted to make something that's basically taking content you could find anywhere on our website and turn it into something a little bit more digestible for you. So we're going to have guests. We're going to talk about projects that we're working on with people in the industry. We might bring some of our partners in. We have a lot of people that you know and love from all of these markets, including Ken Widger and Richard Sexton, who are going to join us for some expert on expert. Sorry to steal that, I guess, from, <laughs> from Dax Shepard, but it's fantastic. Um, really just to give you the information that you're looking for. And these are going to come out each week. They're probably not going to be as long as this has been so far, but we want to give you a different way to get information, whether you're in the car or you're on the plane heading to market. There can be something here for you 
if you just get one thing out of this, we would we would love that. Absolutely. And um, uh, two things. One is uh, I think this isn't something that we do lightly. Um, I don't think em- either Emily or I uh, do that. Uh, when we do something, we put everything into it. Um, we put our whole heart into it. And I know... Um, I am, and uh, I know Emily is, uh, huge fans of podcasts. Huge fans. Yeah, and when I'm in the car at any point, I'm listening to podcasts. Um, even with kids, I'll, you know, when my kids are in the car, I'll, I'll listen to podcasts. And, you know, trying to get them to, you know, quiet down a little bit so that I can hear is can be a challenge, but I mean, it's, it's become a definite part of my life. So I do this and, and I know Emily does this also as a, as a love of the craft Mm -hmm. and frankly to help. Um, we don't do this, uh, without wanting to honest to God, help, um, our, our customers and our partners and we want, you know, we want to learn, we want to teach, and we'd like to help. And just like Emily said, when we, when we meet with you, uh, we would like to hear what you're thinking and, and uh, you know, learn and, and grow from that. Yeah. So some of the stuff that we're going to cover over the months and hopefully years of this podcast are e-commerce. I mean, that's a very big inflection point right now for our industry. There are brands that are having so many challenges with 3D and how do I leverage this technology? Our retailers are trying to figure out how to compete with Amazon and Wayfair and all these big box retailers. And at the end of the day, you're trying to find a way to sell more of your home furnishings products. And that's it. And those are the topics we're going to cover. How can we do that? Whether it's through marketing, you're going to hear a lot of marketing talk on here. You're going to hear um, merchandising tips and ways you can engage your sales teams in the showroom and how to improve your website or maybe different right. types of ways to leverage photography um, to user increase your yeah, uh, user conversion experience. rate optimization. Social uh, media. Yeah. Um, we can't know everything that you are struggling with. We know a lot of the challenges you have, but leave a comment. Whether it's on our blog, you can send us an email, marketing at microdinc.com. You can leave a comment um, here and let us know what you, what you want to talk about. So we're going to talk about these every week, and we're going to start with our next episode, officially episode one, where we're going to talk <laughs> about the keys to being successful in retail in 2019. Now, this one, this is a very special first podcast that we're going to do because we had all of our experts here at MicroD give us their one tip for a retailer or a manufacturer in the home furnishings industry and help you start the year off right. If you haven't checked out our blog, it is there in full form, but we'll just use our next episode to talk about some of those tips and give you some of those um, expert advice tips. Absolutely. So, Uh, If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our podcast, our pod, if you will. Smash that like button. Smash the like (laughs) button and subscribe (laughs) buttons. We are going to send this out, and we'll let you guys know when the first episode comes. If you haven't subscribed, we'll send you a few emails, or we'll put it up on our website. So you can go to microdinc.com and find out more information. And we may have a name by that point. (laughs) But a (laughs) bump Awesome. I think we're good. So we will see you on our very first episode one.